We'll be going into Wuhan. Once we land on the ground, then we'll be starting to receive our South African citizens. They'll be doing some exit screening on the Chinese side, and then we will establish our own medical um, screening point before boarding the aircraft. They're not going to be also all together in one place. We're going to have that social distancing, which is quite used often now in, 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 uh, in transportation during repatriation. Say, for example, one area of the plane can only use the one toilet. Inside there, they'll be sanitizing equipment as well, all of that in terms of uh, that. And from there, when we arrive at the designated airport, uh, we'll be doing an exit screening on the plane before the doors are open, and then the procedures will, will follow into the quarantine zone. So preparing the plane, the crew, we had a training exercise and a briefing to prepare the crew so they can work together, work through the protocols of what we need to do as well in, the, in case we have a symptomatic patient on board, how to isolate, what type of PPE, what level of PPE. So a lot of preparation has went into that and that's all these days has taken into that. As you know, it's a huge undertaking to do this and we have to look at also from both sides, you know, being the Chinese side, we've accommodated our South Africans as well. The timelines of how they're going to allow you in on the ground and things like that. A lot of flight plans, clearances need to be done by the Defence Force as well. Getting the staff as well, uh, you know, psychologically prepared for the trip as well. So a lot of preparation has went into that. For more, go to ewn.co.za.